everybody i'm finally back with another video sorry it's been taking me so long i know i'm trifling i haven't uploaded a video in about a month i've been real busy and yeah i've just been busy i apologize so this video is how i take care of my protective style and this time my protective style is box braids if you follow me on instagram you see i've had these braids for a while probably way longer than i should have them but they're still here and i'm going to show you how i take care of them to do that this time i did purchase the under hair care products i'm going to show you how i do my hair and then I'll give you a review on these products at the end so to start off I didn't actually film this part but I do always start off by clipping my fingernails with nail clippers the reason is for that because when I'm like washing I don't want any breakage from my hair being snagged into my nails so I always start off with that after that I wet my hair either in the shower or if i've already taken a shower and don't want to do that if i want to wash my hair in the sink i start off with a spray bottle and wet my hair after that i go in with a shampoo now this time i use the under hair care cleanse you do not have to do that if you just have a shampoo at home you can honestly just slab it on your scalp in between your protective style or you can get like a regular applicator bottle and just for easier application and put that on after that i just wash my hair focusing on the root um at the uh, when i'm done washing my hair i just rinse it out and whatever dirt gets rinsed out from that shampoo rinsing down the braids i call that enough for washing so i repeat that process for about uh two to three times and then after that after that, I usually go in with the oil and just oil my scalp. But this time, I, like I said, from under hair care, they actually have a leave-in conditioner for your hair. Like, you see my hair right here, not my scalp. So I took the leave-in conditioner and put that on my hair. Now, it was kind of hard to not get that on my scalp because... You only have this much hair that's like less than an inch away from your scalp so i got that on my um on the hair as good as i can and rub that in what i also did was go down to the braid so where my hair is kind of like sticking out rough right there and i rubbed that with the leave-in conditioner as well so moving forward in my protective style hair care when I have braids, I'm going to include that because I feel like it really helped out a lot. Like this hair does need to be taken care of even though it's not put in the protective style. So after I get done with that, I usually just go in with the oil. So under hair care also came with a oil for your scalp and for your hair, but I mostly wanted this on my scalp. So what I've been using before I got the under hair care in my bottle that i mixed by myself i have castor oil in here peppermint oil and another oil that i got from be mine organics um the reason that i put a, a oil on my scalp is because i think because your hair is like parted a lot more air gets in there and it actually will dry your hair and scalp out a lot faster than it usually would so i also want to do that for growth so an oil to me is essential in a protective style. Now, um, after that, this is optional. I usually would be done after I do the oil, but if I have my hair waved like I have it now, I usually do that again on my wash day. And then after that, I also go in with like a mousse. I'll just show you how I do it real quick. A mousse. And I just put it on the ends and it helps like the ends stay well kept i guess if that's what you want to say helps the ends stay together um so that's pretty much it for my wash day it's really simple it's actually less maintenance than a regular wash day and um now i'm going to go in with my thoughts on the under hair care my first initial thoughts when i first opened it is that i thought this packaging was so cute that is honestly what drew me to it like i love cute packaging i love things that look nice and well put together so what i got was a bundle in my bundle I got the cleanse so this is the shampoo the shampoo is was very easy very easy to apply it has this nozzle on the end 
and the nozzle doesn't have any snags which can also cause breakage so I'm glad for that plus it's a screw on top so when my son gets a hold of it which he did he wasn't able to just pull the top off like the other one so this is a sulfate free cleanser and when I use this um, there is a really good lather but um some of it got in my eye and I thought I was about to die like I, it has menthol in it so when it got in my eye I thought I was about to die like I feel like my eye had ate a cough drop like I had to wash my hair the rest of my hair with one eye it was bad but that feeling on my scalp felt really good so if you have an itchy scalp this will really be good for you um moving on to the leave-in conditioner for your hair and the shampoo the shampoo the consistency of it is like really runny you see how that's like running down it's really really watery but it does give you a nice lather and you don't really need that much so moving on to the leave-in conditioner the leave-in conditioner had a very nice consistency to it it wasn't really thick which I would have been kind of upset if it was really thick because I don't have that much hair to put the leave-in conditioner on so for it to sink in really quick when I put it directly on my hair that was really good I actually want to try to use this in my lock method when I take my braids out and I'm going to see how it works because it worked I feel that it sunk right in into my scalp I mean into my hair and that's what I look for in a deep conditioner or something that sinks right in and is very moisturizing so I really liked it and the smell of these products is like a really clean a really clean clean smell which is something else I like I don't like got definitely got an A for that uh, the shampoo even though it has like menthol and tea tree oil in it and stuff it smells really clean too uh, the last thing that I got from them was the restore oil the restore oil was kind of thick See, it's like not going anywhere it does have castor oil in it so that kind of makes me think that that's the castor oil part that's not making it run anywhere um i really like this oil that's actually what i have on my scalp now putting it on it is kind of thick so you really don't need that that much i ended up putting too much the first time i used it and it lasted me a couple days so i thought that was a good thing and a bad thing but the I've used this about five times and if you can see that mark right there even though this bottle is small you don't need a lot so a little does go a long way and I'm glad because this bottle if you buy it separately is $18 which I think is a bit much so my overall thoughts on these is that I really like them and I'm actually going to continue to use these for my protective styles like yes you can go and get any shampoo and throw it in a bottle any leave-in conditioner any oil but this is actually formulated to help your hair grow and to protect your hair under your protective style so i'm not going to lie these products were not cheap i think all of these products together for this bundle was like 46 dollars so shipping and handling i paid probably about 52 dollars which you know it's nothing to go to the dollar store and get some suave and throw it in an applicator bottle but Suave compared to this is not the same. So I highly recommend these products. At least that you give them a try. If you subscribe to their email list, they can send you out coupons. I subscribed after and then I got the coupons. So I was kind of upset about that. But as for that, that's all I do for my wash day for my protective styles. Let me know what you guys do for your protective styles or anything that you feel that I need to add. Once again, thanks for watching and I apologize for being so late on my uploading i'm trying to get better don't forget to subscribe and like this video you guys have a good day thanks bye